look at an example where you use the Jacobian to examine an equilibrium point of a nonlinear system. Let's look at this system right here, which represents two populations with carrying capacities that detract from each other's growth. This is a competing species system. Notice that you can rewrite the f of xy and the g of xy by multiplying and then factoring so that you can analyze the two factors that make up f and the two factors that make up g. You could actually extract four equilibrium points. But just take the equilibrium point at 1, 1. At 1, 1 you see that both dx dt and dy dt is 0. What's the behavior of the system at 1, 1? Well, let's look at the Jacobian. Form the Jacobian for the system, partial f, partial x, partial f, partial y, partial g, partial x, partial g, partial y. By differentiating with respect to x and y respectively, you have this matrix 2 minus 2x minus y, negative x, negative 2y, and 3 minus 2y minus 2x. At 1, 1, you just insert 1 and 1 for x and y, and you can reduce that matrix to negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1. It's got a trace of minus 2, but the most important feature is the determinant. The determinant is negative 1, so immediately we say, well, that's the coefficient matrix of a sample. And so that means we expect the original system to behave like a saddle near the equilibrium point one one. This is the Jacobian acting like a microscope so that we can zoom in on the behavior at one one.